2024 and any other new students we have watching this video tour of the high school. We're so excited to have you at the high school this year. I'm, my name is Sarah Manand and I'm here with a couple of my other fellow Link Crew leaders and we're here to show you around the high school. Again, my name's Sarah, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Tess, I'm a junior. I'm Grace, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Tina, I'm a senior. And I'm Abby and I'm a junior. We're here at the C20 entrance, we're gonna go into the high school. Let's go. So we're at the C20 entrance, let's go inside. This is one of the main entrances to the building. Right here you have the principal's office, which is where you'll come if you have an early dismissal or a tardiness. Under the grand staircase, you can find some elective classes like child development, fashion arts on this side, and then art on the other side, as well as two dance studios, one behind me and one right to my right. This is one of our dance studios. Mrs. Capron teaches, and this is her classroom. She has dance company and a few dance classes. If you follow me up the steps of the Grand Staircase, I'll show you the second floor of the D building. Coming this way, you can see our Mind Den and our choir room. Now the Mind Den is actually something sort of new to the high school. They just put it in this year, and it's part of Mount Lebanon's initiative to increase mindfulness in the district. Hi guys, Grace again. I'm going to take you backstage through the Fine Arts Department. I'm going to take you to the Little Theater or the Fine Arts Theater, um, through Tech Theater Shop, and then to the main auditorium. Um, up here we have all of our costumes for all of our performances we do at the high school. We do a spring musical in May, and a fall play in November, and then another spring play in March. Over here, that's where our dressing rooms will be, but we don't have access in there today. Um, now we're getting up close to the shop where Tech Theater um, keeps all their materials to make sets. Um, this over here is the Fine Arts Theater. It's dark so we can't go in there today, but that's where we do daytimes, which you'll probably get a chance to go to at some point when you're in high school. Um, percussion does them, Evening Theater Company does them, Dance Company does them up in the auditorium, which I'll take you to now. This is where the magic happens for Tech Theater, where they build everything. Some more costumes up here. And here we have the main auditorium. We have some assemblies and meetings in here, or if you come to the orchestra or band concerts or the spring musical, this is where it takes place. Hey there, it's Shayna, and welcome to the AO. So, as you can see here, this is green because that's a senior class color. But look, this is red, that's your color. So a lot of cool things happen in the AO. One of them is some student council meetings. I know that because I'm a senior class secretary, so follow me. So right here is some cool poster board that you will use for spirit assembly banners, for things for sports, and they hang up around center corner. They're super fun. And right here is the den. You can get a lot of cool merch here and check out the senior Twitter and Instagram for more information about that. Right here is Mrs. Kolko's office and she is the student activities director and she's there to help you for anything you need in the AO. Right here is where seniors hang out and they can come up during the lunch period or study hall to sort of play games and hang out and chill. And then right here is Mrs. Apriya's office, well, desk, and she's here to help you with any forms and things like that. And over here is the community service opportunities and there are the mailboxes for you to get your mail for your homeroom. So that's it. This is the fourth floor overlook. From here, you can get to the auditorium, which you've probably been there for some musical musical performances or dance company performances. Over there, we have the entrance to the orchestra room and the band room. And over here is the B building. Hi guys, it's Sarah again. We're walking into the B building right now. The B building is four floors. It starts on the third floor and goes up to the sixth floor, but the third floor is the bottom floor. Walking out right now, we're walking into the social studies department, or the fourth floor. We just came from the fourth floor overlook, and we're walking right into the fourth floor of the B building. The social studies department has classes such as history, civics, and different psychology classes. The third floor, which is underneath of us, has world languages such as French, Spanish, and German. Above us is the English department, which we'll go see in a second. That has all of your different English courses. And on the sixth floor, or the top floor, we have all of your math courses, because it's the math department. It also has one or two social studies courses that couldn't fit here. The reason they couldn't fit here is because at the end of this building, we have the um, academic and administrative offices. There's offices such as um, superintendent and other things like that. And you cannot use the main stairwell over here. So again, we have the administrative offices. This is on the fourth floor, so you 
can't use the far stairwell that's all the way down there to get to the fourth floor. You can only get it, use it to the third, fifth, and sixth. This is the middle stairwell. The stairwell gets clogged really easily, so just be aware of that. So now we're here on the fifth floor. This is the English department. Down there are a couple of English classrooms, and again, you can use the far stairwell to get to this department. All the English classes are here, 9 through 12, so whenever you have English, which will be all four years, you'll be on this floor. We're still on the fifth floor, and we're walking towards center court. We're closer to the first stairwell, which also gets a little clogged, just be aware. Right now, I'm going to show you the writing lab. The writing lab has a bunch of computers and other things to use. Mrs. Shine runs the writing lab, and she's always available to conference if you need her. The lab's open different days, and you can use it in the morning, during study hall, at lunch, or after school, depending on the schedule. Make sure you check the schedule before you come up. All right, so we came upstairs to the sixth floor. This is the math department. Now, all the math classes are here, depending on what you're taking. Right now, I'm going to show you the math lab. The math lab is run by Mrs. Trumbull. You can use it whenever you need help in math, if you need to make up a test, or if you just want to come and try out some math problems. It's always a good thing to do. All right, so right now, we came all the way down to the third floor, or the bottom floor of the B building. We're on the World Language Department. So again, it's French, German, Spanish, and any English second language classes. There's also a language lab, but we don't really use it for any help. It's just for if ever the language classes need computers. So right now, we're going to head back through Center Court, which is on the third floor. We're going to head over to see the library. So now we're in our wonderful library. And Mrs. Smith would like to say a couple words. Hi, class of 2024. I can't wait to meet you in person. So let's go look at the library. As you can see, we have a very wide collection of books, and you can come in if you ever need to download a book or if you need to come and borrow a book. We also have the lab over here, which you might have a couple classes in for English or different social studies courses. So over here we have the patio, which you can use during study hall or if you want to come eat lunch over here. It's normally bright and sunny out, so you can go use it. Right now it's raining, so we're not going to go watch outside right now. Over here we also have computers that you can come use during study hall, during the morning, or after school. It's open at all times and you can always use the printer if you ever need to print out an essay. Hey guys, it's Abby and I'll be showing you around the e-building and technology area. Um, right over here is the TV studio. Also down that hallway you can find classes like graphics, engineering, manufacturing, and a bunch of other different classes that all count as um, practical arts. They're all really super fun. You can make stickers and mugs, and each class has different levels, so you can be a very beginner like I was when I took graphics one, and have a really good time and be successful in that class. Right now, we're gonna be showing you our awesome wood shop where some of these other classes take place. Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you the nurse and guidance office. If you keep following the hallway in the technology department, you'll end up right here. Right next to me is the nurse's office, which you will need a pass to go to, so make sure you get that from your teacher. And right behind me is the guidance office, where you can go in any time it's open. You just need to sign in. Hey guys, this is entrance B9. You can see it near the big solar panel or the greenhouse. Right near B9 is the unit principal's office, where you can also pick up materials that your parents drop off for you. So here is the center court again, so follow me and we'll take you to the athletic building. So right now we're about to be walking across the skywalk. The skywalk is cool, it gives you an entrance to the athletic building, which has the two health rooms, the three gyms, the weight room, and the pool. So for the pool you'll have swim gym, or if you're a swimmer you'll have most of your boxes there. Um, here's the tennis courts right over there, and there's also a little area where you can sit out there. Over there is Mr. Scalpo's room. He's a cool Apex teacher. And right now it's thundering. Well, we usually be thundering during school, but it's a bit loud. So we usually use the skywalk for most dances to have a cool little entrance before you get there. So you come up the stairs, walk, and it's like a magical entrance. And it's like decorated with lights, which is really cool. And yeah, so let's take a tour of that fun building. So this is the Hall of Champions. And right on the other side, this is the South Gym, and in this gym we have our volleyball games, our basketball games, and our speed assemblies. 
So we have a lot of sports here at Mount Lebanon, and usually where we practice sort of interchanges between the three gyms. So in the gold gym, usually winter track practices, sometimes cheerleading practices there. And in the north gym, right over there, is usually where softball practices, sometimes cheerleading, and even sometimes basketball. But it really all changes around. I hope you were able to learn a lot from this tour. We can't wait to see you all in person. If you have any questions, please reach out to your link crew leaders or any of your teachers. They all really want to help you. Bye.